Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be going through the summer roadmap for 2018. So in other words, what we can expect from SWOTAR this summer but then also a little bit beyond with the new expansion that is coming up. We were provided a few insights into that but firstly I do want to mention that the link to the full roadmap is in the description below so you can go ahead and check out that and to read everything i'm just going to cut to the chase so the new stuff that we are getting i'm going to cut through some of the other stuff like they talked about their focus and what they've done recently i'm going to cut through that just get to the good stuff so firstly we're going to be getting game update 5.9.1 we are getting that on May 22nd, which is only in a few days, and it's going to be a lot of solo themed stuff because we do have the new Han Solo movie coming out on May 25th, so we're getting some good stuff here. So firstly, on May 22nd, for 10 days, we're going to be getting the double event, so the double CXP, the double XP, double rewards, all of that stuff. That's going to last for about 10 days, but what's more exciting is starting from May 22nd all the way until June 30th, so for about, for about one month, we're getting the Nar Shaddaa Nightlife event. So this is a pretty awesome event, a nice time to spend a few hours in the summer and um, they always have some really awesome rewards. They did mention that they're going to be offering a variety of new cartel market items with scoundrel specific items. So I'm not sure if that's just new items on the cartel market or new items for the actual Narshada Nightlife event. Hopefully we'll get a mix of both. I'm hoping that the Narshada Nightlife event does have some newer uh, new rewards. Because a lot of people already got like the Gamorrean Bodyguard and um, the Kingpin Ranker and all that stuff. And I'm not saying they shouldn't have those. We definitely want that option for people who haven't already gotten those rewards. But it would also be nice to see some new stuff. Anyways, that's pretty exciting. That's one of the big things coming this summer. Now from early July all the way through September we're going to be seeing some updates as well for the game and this is going to focus very largely on player versus player. So the PvPers including myself I'm a big PvPer we're going to have some really big updates and some new stuff that they're going to be focusing on. So one of the things is over the summer they are going to allow war zones and grouping especially for war zones and are arenas to be cross-faction PvP. So not just Odessin. Right now only Odessin is really a cross-faction. Now we are going to be getting cross-faction for almost all war zones and arenas. Um, that's going to be pretty awesome. Definitely going to help some of the grouping issues. I know as a, I've tried to play pub, Republic PvP, sometimes it's hard to find a group. So that's not a bad change at all. Quite nice. It's going to affect the lore sometimes. So hopefully they do something about that. I don't want like the lore to just be completely abandoned. And if we're doing like a, I don't know, a, um, a Void Star match and you have Republic and Imperials on your team, it's going to be pretty weird. So hopefully they take that in, into account. Now a lot of the stuff they had already mentioned beforehand and released. So one of the things is we are getting a new arena. They said it's in a compound that we've already seen before. Now I'm assuming because they did announce that we're getting a Shea Vizsla Mandalorian themed arena. I'm assuming this is going to be like that arena we saw in the um, Blood Hunt Flashpoint. So the one where we uh, encounter Torch or in other words Shea Vizsla and we fight her in this sort of arena. I'm assuming it's going to be something similar to that. Um, so that's going to be cool, but that was already announced as well beforehand, so we already expected that. One other new thing we're getting is we are getting a new Hutball war zone that they say is set in a dangerous and dizzying heights of an industrial planet. So I'm actually quite excited about that. Hutball used to be one of my least favorite war zones, now it's one of my most favorite, especially playing on an operative or a mercenary and stuff. And so it, it can be quite a, quite a lot of fun. I'm excited for a new Hutball war zone. And hopefully with the whole industrial planet, they do something unique with it. We're not just going to see like a reskin or we're not going to see, um, like I wouldn't say Quesh Hutball was an improvement over original Hutball. So hopefully we get something that's a little bit cooler. But anyways, I'm not complaining. I don't mind new stuff with PvP. It's been quite a while since we've seen something. Now their secondary focus on PvP is actually quite interesting. They say that they're delivering a new stronghold with a beachfront view. Um, and they say that what this has to do with PvP is that the stronghold is actually PvP themed, if that makes any sense. So they say that they're introducing a stronghold that is designed and tailored for dueling. And this isn't just like 1v1 dueling, they say it's 4v4, or even 8v8 battles. 
So we can't do that currently. So I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with like a new dueling system where you can actually have teams dueling each other. Or maybe it's going to be like an open world PvP thing that allows for like people to fight each other. Something along those lines. We, it seems to be that we're getting a new mechanic. But it, what's cool is they say that the stronghold itself is themed towards that. So it's going to be somehow different. Now, they don't actually give us names, but they did say earlier that a Rishi stronghold was confirmed by the devs. That wasn't just speculation. So I'm assuming this one with a beachfront view is indeed Rishi. And we know for a fact from the Rishi flashpoint that we do um, that it does have a beach. So that I don't know why they're not giving us the names. It would be nice just to have that confirmation. Um, Nonetheless, I would say that's a very interesting focus, like to make a PvP themed stronghold. They say that they understand that there's a, like a community for that in the game. I'm not sure how large that community is. I've never like participated in a stronghold battle or ever had one or anything, but I guess it would be cool to try out and maybe do uh, sometime a little bit later in the future. It's nonetheless very cool. I do love strongholds and they say that they're making some... Um, yeah, they do say that they're making some under the hood improvements and by tailoring the spaces to support different styles of play. So obviously like line of sighting, knocking people off or something like that. Now they're not saying that the stronghold has to be decorated a specific way. You'll still have complete freedom to decorate it however you want. One thing they did mention is they are enhancing stronghold decorations to support PvP gameplay. So obviously doing things where you can uh, use decorations to hide behind to create obstacles or to um, you know do a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's actually a really cool and unique take on uh, strongholds. It's something different that they're doing with it. I don't mind it. I think it's actually really cool. I love the PvP focus. It's been a while since we had some focus on PvP, so I'm excited for this. And for those of you who do rank PvP, they say that the end of Season 9 will come sometime in July and they'll announce the stuff at the end of June, including rewards and stuff. Now the rest is all kind of just mumbo jumbo without giving us any sort of real information. They say they're going to make improvements to the experience of war zones, whatever that means. They say they're going to look at the unranked PvP matchmaking system to see what improvements they can make. Uh, they don't actually give us any details about it, which is why I don't want to go too in depth into it. But one thing they did mention that I was really excited about Sorry, I had to cough there. One thing they did mention that uh, that was quite exciting was uh, Q control, which means we're going to have a little bit more control over what war zones we play. Hopefully this means that we can exclude certain war zones that we've gotten really fed up with and don't want to see anymore. Or maybe this will allow us to just queue for one war zone and be able to play it, which I'm excited about. I hate the whole RNG component where if I want to play hotball, I've got to like go through five other war zones before I finally get a hotball or something. So that's really cool. And then the final thing is they're looking at exploiters and cheaters and all that stuff. I mean, they always do that. Never really seems to work, but hopefully they figure it out this time around. All right, so that was all cool. That's coming this summer. Not anything for like ops or group players, um, but PvP, I'm, I'm happy we're getting a little bit of focus. Now, beyond September, so with the new expansion and stuff, they did mention a few stuff. So they say that that's going to be a lot for like story and PvE players. Uh, we're going to get the return of cool companions. Now, I know a lot of people were excited for Darkseid Jaysa to return. I personally thought she would return this summer, but since that wasn't mentioned in the roadmap, it looks like we're going to have to wait until September and the new expansion to see Darkseid Jaysa come back. So that's unfortunate, but that's coming a little bit later. Um, they say we'll get a completely new storyline that will kick off a new set of challenges and adventures that will continue into the new year. So one thing that's exciting is it looks like we are getting our expansion before the new year, or at least we're going to get a lot of good content before the new year. That's a cool. I'm really hoping we can get something for winter break uh, so we can, you know, keep ourselves entertained with some sword hard goodness. And that's about it for the new roadmap and new information that is coming. As always, guys, let me know what you guys think about this direction in the comment section below. I'm quite excited about this. It's been one year since we've had Keith as a producer, and I think he's done really great things with the game. I don't exactly agree with everything, but I think the game is going in a great direction. Hopefully the game stays strong and healthy and we don't see it shut down anytime soon. I'm really excited for, for just the fact that the game's still alive and kicking and um, all those shutdown rumors weren't true and stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.